All right, so I kind of caught myself some pretty big pains with uh, doing the long axle. Um, I'm not going to name the company in this video, <laughs> but uh, what you call it. So uh, I told him I wanted a long axle. I was kind of asking some questions because I wanted to put the, push the wheels out just a little bit because I didn't like the big gap or the you know rear wheels, especially since I lowered this one spline. Um, but... So I thought that I was getting the long axle short spline and I didn't really know exactly what that meant at the time to be honest. Um, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what's up. Um, you know this is a 63 5 lug is standard for 63. I believe 67 was the last year of the 5 lug. Uh, if I'm correct I should be. I'll double check. Um, but so, just to give you an idea of what's going on here, so if you measure the splines uh, from spline to end of axle is roughly roughly three and three quarters, right? So this is what it came off of. This would be a short spline, uh, short axle. This is the just the spline, it's not the entire axle. I'll do all the measurements for the tube and everything. Um, is roughly, you know, just a little above three inches. So about three quarters of an inch longer. And then you have your axle tube. Let's measure from the outside to the outside of this edge right here. And that's roughly three and a half. And that is about four and three quarters. So, yeah, you got some distance uh, to cover for sure. I just wish I was tracking fully and fully understood what was going on. So, the 67 had the first long axle. I think they only did for two years, but I do know 67, first long axle, but it was long axle, short spline, like the short splines that I just showed you. Um, this one is, should be a 68. Um, so long axle, long spline. But the issue with that, you go with, um, you'd have to use a hub from a 68. The 68, I don't know about all of the 68s, but part of the 68 was just, uh, they, that's when they switched over to the four lug. I don't want that. Well, did some research. So, uh, this is a should be 1970s Volkswagen thing, right? And you can see right off the bat how much bigger that is. Um, but that's that's about three and a quarter, right? And the way it, that it's designed, this is further out than what the stock one is. <clears throat> but you can see, bam. Uh, how much of a difference that is. This is like two and a quarter <laughs> compared to three and a quarter. So that's an inch right there. So that's what I had to go with in order to use a setup. I'm not about to take these axles back off. And I mean, I want to push them out as far as possible. Hopefully I don't have any issues with the uh, tire clearance. Uh, we'll find out. Um, hopefully I don't, but we will see. But that is an option. I'll put all that stuff in the description so you know. Um, yeah, I mean, but also something to consider. You've got the 1967, I believe, had different size um, bearing cup, right? So it was like a little bit wider. So that's something else you'll need to think about. Uh, but really, just do your measurements. Try to get the measurements from the manufacturer as far as like this one. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This one was... Pacific Customs. I got that from Pacific Customs, and they're a lot more expensive. Uh, whatever. It, it's whatever. I mean, I just wanted to make it work, you know, at this point. I think the stock, you know, if I bought the 63 stock one, it's probably, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. Uh, that guy was 120. Well, then I was like, well, screw it. If I'm going to go through all this freaking shit, I uh, might as well buy just a whole new assembly. Uh, so this guy came all, all the way assembled. I'm going to go do my research and make sure that you know, kind of just a review. It's been a while since I messed with the brakes on this guy. Yeah, so long axle versus short axle. 
plus long axle short spline versus long spline so yeah i hope that helps um it would have helped if i knew that but that's just something to consider uh, but it's a an awesome way to use the stock application to extend those rear wheels out a little bit to kind of make it look better i think it looks funny like i said so i wanted to push it out all right guys uh if you got any questions just let me know please comment please like the video and subscribe thanks